Now, somebody asked me about the transient response of the uh, dual opto-isolator, and uh, so that's what I'm doing now. I've just connected um, a pack of uh, 10 nickel metal hydrides, so that's 12 volts, directly across the uh, tantalum capacitor there, uh, across the um, top of one of the optos and the bottom of the other. And uh, I've set the Arduino to a frequency of 16 kilohertz, and this is the result. So you can see there that um, on the right hand side, 16 kilohertz frequency, and then at the bottom, duty is currently 50%. Now we're getting a rise time of 3.9 microseconds, and a fall time of about 3.4 microseconds. Now that ties up quite closely with the data sheet. There we've got rise time and fall time and the numbers are uh, 4 microseconds for rise, 3 microseconds for fall. So I've got virtually identical figures. Now I'm not using these test conditions. I'm not using 2 volts collector emitter. I've got 12 volts across there. And of course I've got no resistor at all because I'm using them in this push-pull arrangement where one pulls high and the other pulls low. But um, going by this, now just one other thing, on the data sheet it says the cutoff frequency is 80 kilohertz. Well, there's no way um, I'd be able to use 80 kilohertz. 80 kilohertz at a 50% mark space, possibly, but of course I want to vary the mark space ratio. And um, you can see that uh, once I get up to high mark values it's getting a bit misshapen and similarly down to high space values there's not much left there and in fact if you look in the corner bottom corner the scope stops calculating duty cycle uh, with these small it only starts calculating at about 20 percent and similarly it gets up to about 80 percent and then just says, no, I can't work out what the duty cycle is. So I would say that I probably couldn't push these optos much faster than this 16 kilohertz. Um, let's just have a look at what uh, happens if I put the FET in the circuit. So I've connected the MOSFET um, gate and source, which behaves like a capacitor um, to ground and the mid pin of the two optos. And it's had a small effect. Um, the shape looks much the same, but if you look at the rise and fall times, rise time is now 5.3, fall time is 4.5, so it's added a microsecond uh, or so to each of those, so uh, it has had a small impact, but I still think this will work, I still think it would be possible to vary the uh, mark space ratio and get uh, a reasonable response in terms of MOSFET switching. So that's the transient response, the dynamic response of the dual uh, complementary opto-isolator circuit.